These reptiles are among the few survivors from the time of the dinosaurs. They've changed very little in the past 65 million years. They're the biggest reptile on Earth and probably one of the most feared carnivores. This is down to their size and their powerful jaws. But are they really that dangerous to human beings? So this video today is dedicated to Jade Patrick. Jade, thank you so much for all your support of Animal Educate and I really hope you enjoy the video. Studies have found that crocodilians are highly intelligent creatures. They're capable of sophisticated behaviours such as complex communication, using tools for hunting and advanced parenting. Seen as crocodilians are such efficient and effective hunters, they're at the top of the food chain in their watery habitats. They have one of the strongest bites of any animal in the world. Crocodiles, alligators, caimans and gharials make up the group known as crocodilians. There's about 23 species within the order Crocodilia, which then breaks down into three families the alligator die, and this is the alligator and the caiman, crocodilla die, this is true crocodiles, and the gaviala die, which is the gharials. Crocodilians are semi-aquatic animals, and most of them live in freshwater lakes, rivers, and lagoons, while a few species inhabit tidal reaches, and some venture out to sea. Alligators and caimans, with the exception of one species, are found only in North, Central and South America. Alligators are found both in the Florida Everglades in the US and in the Yangtze River in China. Crocodiles occur mainly in Asia, Africa and Australia with some species in Central and South America. All species of crocodilians have a wide, slightly flattened body and a long, vertically flattened muscular tail. Most are olive grey, brown or black, although juveniles tend to be lighter in their markings. This disappears with age. They have extremely powerful jaws. Their eyes and their ears are on top of their head. This is so they can see and hear when they're partially submerged. Its transparent eyelids can be closed when they're underwater, which obviously protects their eyes. The large bony scales have raised ridges and they shed singly or in pieces, unlike those of other reptiles. The three groups of crocodilians differ in the shape of their snout and the arrangement of their teeth. Alligators and caimans have shorter, broader snouts than crocodiles. Crocodilians have two adaptations to stop water from entering their lungs when they're underwater. By closing a flap of skin on the back of their throat, they can open their mouth to catch prey without water passing down the windpipe. Similar flaps can also be closed over the external openings of the nostrils and ears. The biggest crocodilians are the saltwater and the Nile crocodiles. Some can grow up to seven meters in length. That's pretty big. A crocodilian's body temperature is the same as its surroundings. They usually bask in the sunshine in the morning and then they'll go somewhere to cool off later on. Male crocodiles are territorial and mate with several females. Each female lays her eggs near water, either in a mound of vegetation and mud or in an underground chamber. The female guards the eggs and helps the hatchlings out of the nest when they hear them calling. Females stay with their young for several months a year or more in American alligators. This protects them from predators. In most species, the female uses her mouth to carry her hatchlings to a shallow pool or backwater. Crocodilians are effective hunters and they eat a lot of fish. They're larger in size and sometimes 
If they can, they'll eat zebras and other animals of that size. They eat a mixture of live prey and carrion. They use various techniques when hunting, but the most common is to lie in wait at the edges of rivers and lakes for mammals to come within range to drink or try to cross. A Nile crocodile hunts by taking its prey by surprise, snapping its jaws shut around its victims and pulling it underwater. Another method is to drift towards prey such as waterfowl hoping to catch it off guard. Fish eating species such as the gharial take prey with a rapid sideways swipe of their narrow jaw which offers little resistance to the water. Birds, small mammals and fish are swallowed whole, but as crocodilians cannot chew, they must dismember larger prey by spinning violently about their own axis while underwater with the carcass in their jaws. Sometimes if working together, crocodiles will be able to hunt animals as big as the wildebeest or buffaloes. After the kill, sometimes the carcasses are kept under the waterline, either under banks or logs. This is so they can save some food for later. Crocodilians also swallow objects like pebbles, which helps to break down the food in their stomach. Crocodiles play a very important role in wetland environments. They help keep the balance in the complex web of life in freshwater and estuarine ecosystems. They're key predators at the top of the food chain and eat a really wide range of prey. The nest mounds built by some species of crocodilian are used by other animals for their own purposes. American alligator mounds are used by turtles and snakes, both for basking and for laying their own eggs. The two species that are most well known and most documented for preying on humans is the Nile and saltwater crocodile. American alligators are pretty abundant since conservation efforts. Ecologist Lucas Nell has tagged many alligators in Florida during his research. He states that despite their abundance, the attacks are rare. Typically, alligators are scared of humans because they've been hunted to the point where they were nearly extinct. A 2010 report tallied all the reported alligator attacks over the 81 years from 1928 to 2009. It found there were only 24 deaths from alligators in the United States, most of them in Florida. It turns out there are about 0.06 attacks per year per 100,000 people. Even more interestingly, of the deaths reported, there were only a handful where the victim was being fed upon. So when you take into consideration how many people actually live in alligator country, the figures are extremely low. As of 2020, seven crocodilian species are critically endangered. Four species are listed as vulnerable. Unfortunately, there's quite a few threats that crocodilians are facing in the wild. There's habitat loss, drainage of wetlands, dredging of coastal wetlands, general urban development, pollution from human activities, and many more. Hunting is still an issue. They were nearly hunted to extinction for their skins. Crocodile skin products you still see available mainly come from registered farms. Ethically speaking, this is not the way forward. Wearing animal-derived materials should surely, by now, be a thing of the past. Fishing is an issue as crocodiles can become entangled in fishing nets and drown. Some people use explosives to fish and this can kill or disturb crocodiles. Some fishermen use poisons that can also affect them. Hybridization is an issue because the result can be the slow genetic erosion of one of the species. Usually the instigating factor is the deterioration of the habitat of one species, causing them to move into the range of the other species. What can you do? Learn about them first and foremost so you're able to teach other people about them and the true nature of the crocodilians and their role in the environment. Never buy products that have been manufactured using their skin. Support organisations that protect these majestic animals. Make videos about them, write about them, 
basically raise awareness. So what have you learned today? We've looked at anatomy, where they live globally, hunting, reproduction, role in the ecosystem. Do they hunt humans in conservation? I really hope you've enjoyed the episode today about crocodilians. There's so much more that I could cover. I'm literally just touching the surface. So please do go and do your own research and continue to learn about them. They're wonderful creatures and they're very misunderstood and extremely important. So once again, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with my episodes. Until next time.